Hey guys, welcome. Today we'll take a look at map view by BNI Industrial Automation. So as you can see here, I have already the Automation Studio startup and also I have a program created. Okay. And I'll show you how my program works before we continue. So when I click on the toggle button here, the value will increase and then once it's done it will show, show the complete I have different text output here and when I click momentary button it will reset everything so in configuration file we'll, go, we'll first go to access and security because MapView is communicating with the PLC via OPC UA, so we have to set up our OPC UA system first. So we'll go into Access and Security, use Role System, we'll go into Role first. These are the two default roles that you have. You can click on this button to add a new role, but we do not need it now. We will just leave it at Administrator and Everyone. And then we'll go into you. Okay, next we'll go into connectivity, OPC UA, go to toolbox and add and here you'll see the, the OPC UA map screen. So we'll go in, first go into properties and over here you can see there's roles, add roles and then click everyone and then also add administrator here you will select what everyone and administrator you do so I'll just check for everyone because you are not going to log in for this training okay next you'll click on sample program which is the program that I have here open it and select which item that I want to increase to put into my map view so I want the light loading progress momentary button text output and also toggle button I can click the enable tag or right click and it will add okay so we'll save save and exit close this as well and then we'll go into map view click on map view folder and then we'll add items for from the toolbox okay first thing we'll have to add is the binding so that we can bind map view widgets to our OPC UA variables, our widgets, map view variables, map view expression, and etc. So, first thing we do is we rename to bindings. Okay, and then we'll say remember this name, it will be important later. And then next, we'll add visualization. And then here we will just put the bindings that we have added just now. And then we will remove the comments in the XML. Okay, and this is where we add the page later. So I'll just rename it to Visu. And just copy the name. Close it. And then add map view configuration. And then we'll go into config. This is where you configure your map view information here. You can set the port number to 81. This is the default. And then this is the default ID. So we'll just put Visu here. Close. So for now we are done with configuration. We'll go into physical view. Right click on your PLC. Go into configuration. OPC UA. Activate OPC UA. That's all we need to do here. Okay, then we'll go into logical view and start creating our map view. First thing we click on the map view and then we'll search for 
that view in the object now. Okay, double click on it and you have map view. And then when we click on map view, we'll select visualization over here. Just double click on visualization and you have it. You'll notice that we have a layouts resources here and also here. This is shared among all the other visualizations that we have and this is only within this visualization. So you can have multiple visualizations in your map view and this will be depending on what are the screens that you have that you want to display on. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we go into layouts and then we'll go into toolbox and at the layout okay so the layout that we want to do is like this okay so we have a total layout of 800 times 1280 and then we have top area of 100 times 1280 starting from 00, zero. and then we have a main layout of 700 times 1280 starting from 100 zero. Okay, so we'll go here and we'll call it layout 1 and then we'll set 800 times 1280 top of 100 and 1280. Copy this. Paste. Next, we'll go to pages and then area contents. Area contents is where we store contents that doesn't of doesn't need to change often, like the title page or the navigation page. So just double click on the page content and then I'll rename it to top so that I don't confuse myself later. Double click and then this is our content that we have. So we need to change the property to make sure that the content is the same size as the content we define in layout. Okay, so just click properties, rename it to top, set the height to 100 times 1280. Okay, at this time we can add a, let's say, welcome label. So we just search for label, drag and drop the label here, and then you have this label, we'll go to properties. So you, you can click this to toggle your stylable properties. So we'll need this welcome. Align center. Align title. Center size. This will be the fixed content for our top area, top area. So next, we'll go in, click on pages and toolbox to add a new page. So this will be our main page. Okay, so I'll rename it to main as well. Okay, we'll add a new content over here at the toolbox. I'll rename it to main as well. And open it. We have to define like what we did just now. So I'll rename this to main height of 700 1280. This will be our, our content size. Okay, so we'll go here and add what we want for our design. Alright, so first, what I'm going to I'm gonna do is add a logo button. Okay, I'm gonna resize, rename this to start. Good. And if 
if you want to change the button color you can keep it here or this is check button color it will be the color will change when you change the when you click on the button so you can simulate here value is true okay that will be too dark for this so try it again okay next we'll go and get a progress bar thing I want is I want the number to be here in the middle. So I'll go here and select label in the center. Okay. And then I set the size to let's say 30 and bold. Okay. Now we can go to progress bar. the state of the machine so it will be machine state next set to all set to 50 and then we can set the align to the center all right then i'm gonna add a momentary button want to have a rounded corner then you can set the radius to let's say 20 it will be much rounder okay and let's say sometimes when we click the button we want the light to shine uh, uh to lit up for for this widget it's either you have a image list or what i normally do is just get the logo button Now we're going to map, map the widgets to our value in the OPC UA. So we can click on this to hide all the other information that we do not need. Go to data and bindings, click on the three dots. Okay, so in here you can see a sample project. Then I have all this data that I have given in the OPC UA just now. So my start measure will map to my toggle button. Take note over here that you have the binding set ID. This is the binding that I have added in the configuration view just now. And then binding mode read and write, read only and init read and write. This init read and write is we will only read once when it starts and then never again. Okay, select the value, click OK. This as well. I want it to read only. This will be bind to my this output and the read only. This will be progress read only as 
and also I would like to have this button to be hidden when I do not start the machine so that nobody will press it accidentally so I can click on this and then I'll set this to visible bindings to widgets main and then I have my start machine button so bind it to the value okay this should be okay and then this by default should be false Okay, so this will be hidden when I start and only, act only activate when I click the start machine button. Okay, with this our design should be done. Now we go to main page. Okay, and then we'll set the layout ID to our layout name, layout1. Okay, page ID we we'll call it main. This is very important as you have to copy the name to the binding the dot piece file later okay then you can set click on the top area and then you can select the reference ID on the top that we have defined here then we can link this to main that we have defined over here and then at this time you can set the background color as well for let's say dark gray and deep gray Okay, next we'll go back to configuration in visualization.vis. Okay, we'll add main here. This will be our default page. This page will start up when we have this main here. When we have the this will be the default page. And then this will be all the pages that I have in my web team. Okay, so if I need a new page, let's say alarm create a new page over there in logical view and then I'll rename it to whatever name it has. Alright. Okay, then I'll compile the project. Project is going to pause my installation because I have installation. So you notice that I do not have the stop button here because it's hidden. So when I click on the machine, it will just reset the stop machine. Okay, it will continue loading until it's done, and then it will be show complete. So I can click reset, it will shut down. Okay, so uh, for more information regarding this uh, map view, you can go to help show explorer. Okay, and then from the top, you can go to visualization, map view, and then generate information, or so on. You can go to getting started. There's a lot of uh, guides here that is very useful. And if you need more information with the widgets, just search for widgets as I have here, and then double click, and then here it will show you all the widgets that is supported, and also. All the information here, all the description for all the properties that you can see. All right, that's all for this video. Thank you, thank you again, and bye bye.